This, as I'm sure you've already figured out, is the 2014 Jaguar F-Type convertible. I think you'll agree with me, it's a thing of beauty. Until the coupe version was unveiled last year, I considered this the most beautiful car of the last two decades. Now, however, I fear the coupe has stolen the crown. While the sensuous coupe is the perfect sports car for fair-skinned Anglophiles like me, the convertible is for those unafraid of the elements. Admittedly, the F-Type is unbelievably beautiful, but its looks are really only a small portion of the story. Perhaps the best bit is the heart and soul, the parts that make it go. I'll cut to the chase. The supercharged drivetrain is a fantastic thing indeed. It comes in three different flavors, F-Type, F-Type S, and F-Type V8S. This is the mid-range 3.0 liter supercharged V6S model. With 375 horsepower, it, like all the other variants, is paired to an 8-speed automatic that can be shifted in automatic or manual with these paddles behind the steering wheel. I'll admit that the V6 and 8-speed auto sound more like they belong in a nice practical Honda Accord than a Jaguar sports car. But happily, this engine in the F-Type makes for a true thoroughbred. The F-Type S here makes the greatest specific power output of any Jaguar engine to date. It'll do 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds and onto a top speed of 171 miles an hour. Jag says the F-Type will do 50 to 75 miles an hour in 3.1 seconds. And you know what? <laughs> I'd like to see that. All right, at 50... <laughs> I don't even care if that was 3.1 seconds. You know, the numbers in this Jag don't really even matter. It is so scintillating and thrilling. <laughs> it is more fun than a dozen BMWs. Although it's constructed from Jaguar's fourth gen aluminum architecture, the whole thing weighs 3,558 pounds, which is a lot for a two seater sports car, especially one as small as this. I'm really not sure where they put all that weight, but thankfully it wears its weight well. It feels very light and nimble in the corners. You really honestly can't tell how heavy it is because it's just so planted in the corners. Yes, it's not as composed or as rigid as a 911, but that Porsche is just so buttoned down and clinical. The Jaguar is a complete CAD. <laughs> Plus, it can do something the Porsche never could. Yow! I've driven many, many loud cars, and I have to say, even with the top up, this is absolutely the loudest. It's not just the sheer volume, it's also the tone. It's raw and guttural. It awakens a more primitive part of your soul. If someone were to ask me to imagine the exact sound of a true sports car, this would be it to a T. It makes me want to pick a fight in a pub and smash a chair over a man's head. It's not all about the rattly howl and the immense power. The F-Type has little touches too. When you first get into the car, the ignition button flashes like a heartbeat. The center vents only rise out of the dash when they're absolutely needed, keeping the interior lines clean. Jaguar even includes heated seats and steering wheel, warm enough to smelt bronze. And here, this knob, you turn to adjust the side bolstering, which hugs your body in the corners. The men at Jaguar truly thought of everything. Well, okay, not everything. The trunk, for example, is absolutely tiny. It is big enough, however, for a monocle and a box of cigars, which is good because Jeeves can bring around the rest of your things in the Range Rover. And then there's the fuel economy. It's not good. To get that riotous sound from the dynamic exhaust, you'll need to rev it over 4,000 RPM, which you will all the time. And if you keep your foot in it, fuel economy in the supercharged engine then drops to the single digits. My tester here has an eco button, which I've been told retards the throttle and makes the transmission shift early. Sort of like selling a non-alcoholic martini, this feature completely misses the point. The other F-Types I've driven have a dynamic exhaust override button that looks like two little exhausts. You push it and it opens the baffles not just after 4,000 RPM, but all the time. That's what I think that eco button should do. I want that yowl, that sound from the get-go. I don't want to have to rev it into oblivion. And you know what? You're going to want to rev it into oblivion all the time because that sound is just intoxicating. Ah! This is the part of the video where I could tell you how Jag stuck with hydraulic power steering instead of going to electronic to ensure the classic sports car feel. Or I could tell you how, in the V8S form, the F-Type feels more like a small GT than a sports car. And although I'm driving on the track, the F-Type isn't much of a track tamer. It's much better suited to windy scenic mountain roads than apexes and rumble strips. You know, and I don't care about that stuff. 
I don't care that it has a tiny cabin and a useless trunk. It's alive. It's living. And unlike so many sports cars on the market today, it has no purpose other than a driving machine. It has not a modicum of practicality. And that's what I love about it. It's just the whole hair-raising, yowling experience. <laughs> I just love it. I love it.